If you lift up any page of the Bible and look through it with a light in the background, what do you see? You try it sometime. You will see toppling civilizations. You will see great white pillars against azure skies crashing in the dust of centuries. You will see marching troops and turbulent battles. And they said, civilization's falling. That's what they said. All except the people who weren't upset. What'd they say? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. A small town minister who rose to the pinnacle of success and celebrity, Norman Vincent Peale was known to many as an exuberant pastor in the Dutch Reformed Church of America. He was shy, political, risk-taking, and pioneering in his use of the media. During a career that spanned more than seven decades, Peel was revered by millions. I don't think Dr. Peel's impact is limited to the 1950s, earlier or later. I think it's ongoing. I think what he said, what he represents, um, has been an import, represents an important cultural shift in post-World War II America. When any history is written of, of this uh, century, or social changes, or self-analysis, or the practical application of theological principles, or oratorical skills, or the use of media, or, or the uh, innovative approach to religion versus uh, practical days, daily life, I think Dr. Peel's name will always be remembered and also ways will be remembered favorably. Since leaving office, of course, it has been a difficult time. But the most important message uh, um, to a lesson to learn from that, however, is never to look back. And that was something that Dr. Peel always emphasized. He says, look forward. Uh, look forward uh, with confidence, uh, not unrealistically, but with determination. Uh, there were perhaps many factors that led to my looking forward, not, to, not frankly quitting, which I might have done, uh, giving up on life generally. Uh, but certainly one of the factors was that subconscious message which Dr. Peel, through his uh, sermons, through the personal conversations I had with him, and through his book, had left with me. That obviously played a role in my being able to still be around uh, at the present time on the American scene. You know, there are a couple of phrases uh, today that uh, when they came come to mind, I've thought of Dr. Peel. Uh, one of them is carpe diem, seize the day. And whenever I see or hear that expression now, I think of him because I think if Norman Vincent Peale had a, a battle cry for uh, people to live their lives, that might be it. Carpe diem, seize the day. The other uh, is just kind of silly, but I think it fits, is uh, Nike's slogan, just do it. I can just see Dr. Peel over and saying, look, just, you know, just go for it, do it, because that's his attitude.